Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, one more type of volcano we're going to focus on, and that's these. Let's watch a video. In the small Mexican village of Paracutin, a crack appeared in a cornfield one day in 1943. Smoke and ash started belching out. Within a day, there was a cone of ash and cinders 40 feet high. A new volcano had been born. Within a week, the cone had risen to 500 feet. This extraordinary eruption excited scientists all over the world, and soon they were studying it as it grew. After a year, the volcano stood 1,200 feet high, and it was dangerous. Nine years after it began, Paracutin had covered 10 square miles of land with lava and destroyed two villages. Then the eruption gradually slowed and stopped. The geologists packed up their equipment and left. Paracutin has not erupted since. In that eruption, uh, which was awesome by the way, wasn't it? I mean, this is a picture here of what the church looked like in that city. It's just surrounded by lava. So it just happened very quickly. It's a cinder cone. So. How is a cinder cone different? How is it not a shield versus a, a, a composite or a stratovolcano? Um, so let's fill out a chart. So cinder cones are like baby volcanoes and they form interestingly, interestingly at shield volcanoes so they're like the side part of a shield volcano at stratovolcanoes. That's the, that's the composite, in other words, composite volcanoes. And one other place. They also form actually in the calderas of other volcanoes. So they're like little mini volcanoes that happen. And they have crazy steep slopes, like 30 to 40 degrees. So these are the, the super steep, like, you know, right? Um, also, they, they form a, they form, a, I'm getting ahead, ahead of myself. They happen very quickly. They are just days to years. They're, they're, they're gonna be short-lived. You're gonna see it like you saw the one in Mexico. They're gonna happen just and be done, all right? They're not very big. They're 10 to 100 meters tall. Could be hundreds of meters, a couple hundred meters, but they're not like uh, 4,000 feet, 5,000 feet. And they're all made up of this pyroclastic stuff. We've been talking about pyroclastic stuff for quite a bit pyroclastic material and their shape is it's well it's a it's a it's a bowl so it, what I mean by a bowl is that you've got a you know you got a caldera basically I'm not drawing this very well there we go <laughs> they've got a bowl at the top and it has steep slopes so that's that's what uh a cinder cone volcano is. It's like a, it's a baby volcano that comes out of other volcanoes and they happen for just a short period of time. They're not very tall um, and they end up having this this bowl-shaped stuff and they they spew this pyroclastic. It's not oozy, it's it's explodey if you will, but it doesn't really explode. It just explodes lots of little stuff and it, and it forms. Houston, no problems. We'll see you in class.